What is up, man? We are back at Trevor and Carolyn's place. They were so kind of to let me come here when they're not home. Gonna finish some of my prep here because you know what? We were on such a good roll and the environment itself was just, you know, it just had that vibe that gave me that ultra focus. I can train, do my thing, do some cardio after, and that's it. So we're gonna do back today, guys. I'm gonna bring you through a back workout and kind of give you guys some easy stuff you can follow along and do, but this is me at the end of my three weeks out, basically. We have two more days and we'll be three weeks out on Friday because we're competing on Friday. I just want to say guys that the response to the video I put out man absolutely Jesus I tried reading that I was too busy reading and I didn't like I had to go back and like everything actually but thank you I guess I wasn't putting the video to get sympathy at all but just to share my story because I know that some people out there can you know and just reading it and seeing the response to me just means we all share similar circumstances that we can all heal from and help each other heal from so thank you to each and every one of you guys, it was moving. And it uh, it adds fuel to the fire. Like, you know, this prep means more than just getting on stage and competing. It means a lot more than that, I feel. So anyway, let's smash them back, get after it. I'm gonna start off with some pull downs like before. I love these, uh, these are the rotate, the prime rotate handles. Absolutely amazing. Check them out, they're good, love them. They make everything easier, actually better activating for back. We're gonna start with this, pull downs first, there's some pull ups. Then rows on rows on rows. Let's get it. I'm gonna get down here so I gotta move the camera. I'm just doing pull downs to start. Right now being like three weeks out, there's no need for me to load a bunch of weight up. So I'm doing a weight that can exhaust me, that I can get my best bang for my butt for cardio and a pump. So I'm doing high reps, 15, 20 reps. If you can do this, 10 to 15 reps, two to three second negative. That's gonna give you between 30 to 45 second rep. If you're looking at that, you know, maximum, um, you know, time or attention whatnot. So. I'm just doing that. So I'm just slowly going up in weight. I'm gonna keep my reps still at, you know, the 15 to 20 reps. And I'm only gonna do like four movements. So I'm not gonna like, the, right now I'm not gaining any muscle. I'm trying to sustain muscle as much as I can and get off as much fat as possible. That's the whole point of this. So that's what I'm doing. If you're, if you're not prepping at all, then I recommend, you know, doing 10 to 15 reps. Do like max two hard sets for each exercise. So if you're doing five movements, it's 10 hard sets. Four, eight, you know, if you do that twice a week, you're getting 16, 10 to 16 sets. Hard sets, right? Hard set being like, you know, my heart rate's going off, my shit hurts, the pump is unreal. You're failing with technical failure. Not just like failing with bad form. You're failing good form. That last rep, you're not even getting down. Anyway. Let's do it again. Move your feet like this. You can hear the intensity as each rep goes. Like, you know, first like five, 10, you know, whatever. Starting to get to 15, okay, it's starting to burn. Those last five are just excruciating. In a good way, you know, because we are muscle masochists. Like I said, we're gonna do two pulls. So we're doing two vertical pulls, and then we're gonna do two horizontal pulls. So we have the pull downs, supinated, close grip, and then we're gonna do neutral pull-ups, you know, a little bit outside shoulder width. So you'll see what I'm talking about. You know when you choose to go to a home gym over the gym, the gym's dope. Okay, so after basically done my first movement, pull-ups are like obviously a lot more hard. So I try to make the reps that much more strict. So I'm not gonna be doing like 15 reps, I'm gonna be doing like 10 really good mind and muscle connection reps so I can really just feel my lats doing the pulling the entire time. My bicep is not that pumped whatsoever. When I'm doing like the neutral grip, I'm able to really engage my lats a lot more for me, I find. Now, for you guys doing it, I recommend if you can do the full amount of reps, the band, assisted reps, just so your body can get used to pulling yourself up and your lats can get you really used to being engaged the entire time. So for this, I only have to do another set. I don't have to do three sets of this. My lats are already toast and this way I'm doing the sets is I'm going right to failure. So I'm basically gonna be able to do three sets on the first exercise of pull downs. I'll do two full sets here, hard sets. And then I'm gonna do two hard sets, so horizontal pull, or then uh, straight on pull downs. And my rest isn't that long either. I'm rest only resting about a minute to a minute and a half. So. Do it again. Work.
Now, I do know I have a little bit of an imbalance when I'm pulling. And I pull, I, pull, I favor to my left a bit, my right side. My scaps are very, very, very tight. So I'm very aware of that. So it's very important that you get some tissue work done. Tissue work being like, you know, yourself rolling on a cross ball or whatever. And then, you know, going to an actual massage therapist or chiropractor. Like if you're training in the gym, I don't care what kind of training you're doing. You should be getting some kind of maintenance work done for yourself in recovery. It's just not enough just to kind of stretch here and there. You're beating the muscle up. You can't expect like, you know, Indy car racers or NASCAR drivers to keep going lap after lap after lap. They have to get, they have to get pit stops. Same with the body. He can't continue to do push pull legs and not get any kind of, you know, tissue work done. So I recommend it. I'm saying that from experience because I need that myself. So anyway, so we're gonna go over and we're gonna do our pulls. You probably see me do this workout a lot. It's one of my favorite things to do. These uh, handles are awesome for pulls. I don't have to really, you know, do dumbbell rows when I can just really pull this and really get a better activation without worrying about, you know, pulling anything or hurting anything right now. Being this far out, body fat's really low. You're that much more susceptible to injury if you're just loading things up. So, and if you're loading things up, I don't know how the you have that much energy to be honest. Like, you, like when you get this lean, it's not that easy to even lift anything. I'd rather just do cardio right now, to be honest. Anyway, I set the incline a little higher here because when I'm gonna pull, I'm really gonna focus on that really that lower light insertion. So I'm gonna do like a back to bicep or back lat spread when I pull that Christmas tree out and pull. I'm thinking lower lat insertion. I'm thinking lower lat insertions when I'm, you know, when I have the incline this high. The next of my rows will be focusing primarily on lower lat insertion and then obviously, you know, your rhomboids, your traps are gonna be as well. All right, as you see, it's just hard. I'm gonna finish the last one with just like gonna do one arm rows. I mean, more in the upper position, a bit like more traditional, like a uh, seated row. I'm gonna do one arm at a time. All right, so we're gonna do one arm pull, and then do the next one like that. So while one's holding, the other one's gonna pull. That's gonna make it a lot more, that harder, so. I don't want to look at, go to the end of the prep, sit on stage and be like, man, if I only did, I know no one's doing two hours of cardio. And the ones that are doing two hours of cardio are playing catch up. So for me, two hours of cardio was just a nail in the coffin. Basically like, I'm in shape no matter what. Cause my diet's on point, my work ethic's on point, and the damn cardio is gonna be on point as well too. So they no shortcuts. I'll do the cardio, I'll do the work. I got no problem sitting on a machine for as long as possible. I don't care who it is out there, I'll out cardio the shit out of you. I don't care who you think you are. If you do two hours of cardio, I'll do three. You do three hours of cardio, I'll do four. You do four hours of cardio, I'll do the whole fucking day. That's my attitude. My thing in my head is I'm competing against my twin who works 10 times harder than me. And I'm trying to beat that guy. That's what I'm trying to beat every single time in the gym. That guy, not the guy on stage, not next dude, next competitor, or whoever won the show last year. I'm trying to beat the dude that no one even has seen or heard about that is doing 10 hours of cardio, that is perfect on the diet, that has trained their ass off, that has the most busiest life and busiest schedule. That's who I'm trying to beat. I'm trying to beat that dude, period. That's my attitude. See his last set. You ready?
Watch, it's gonna be supernatural. It's gonna be on another level that your eyes have not seen, your ears have not heard. Get ready for a big thing. The reason I'm getting happy right now is because when I'm thinking to myself, I already sent some release. I haven't even gotten it. New dumbbell pullovers, because I want to get a nice stretch. Oh, ah, he caught that on camera. Oh, so you guys probably see me do all the stretch so when I'm on my way back, my hips will go down. What I was doing is this elongating my torso even more so I get a lot more, you know, stretch my lats. And then I kind of drive my hips up in timing with me pulling the weight over. So I'm engaging my core, my glutes in this entire exercise so I isolate my lats that much more. Right now, again, my goal is just to get a good pump, good blood volume, good activation, and uh, get my cardio working. So, like I said, you can do this entire exercise, keep it super simple, do 10 to 15 reps, two to three second true, two to three true second negatives, and squeeze every concentric, every P contraction, rest a good minute and a half to two minutes, depending on how hard you're actually going, how hard the load and heavy the load is. If you're not rested enough, don't just jump back into the set because you won't be able to give your all. You don't wanna go, if you go into your next set and you're getting like, you know, 20% less reps than you've done, you know, you're not resting long enough. You should be able to get, you know, if I'm doing 100 pounds for 10 reps and I rest enough, I should be able to do that 100 pounds again, maybe for nine reps or eight reps. I should have to decrease the weight a lot because the load is too heavy because I didn't rest long enough. So make sure you're resting long enough, but don't rest too long where you're just cold. And one more set and finish cardio. When you live in the house, you discern divine things to be common. It's a dangerous thing to get used to a divine gift. All right, that is it. That's back for you guys. I'm gonna do. I'm doing arms on a complete separate day. For two hours of cardio a day. You know, my calories are still at, they're 2,700 calories, and I'm in low days, they're between 24 and 2,700. So, I'm not touching my calories that much more anymore. I'm gonna let the cardio, my activity level, really bring my weight down, and then obviously, with the fat burning chemicals, or vitamins I'm using, that'll help me with fat as well too. So, we'll be adding letrozole this Friday, 21 days out, one milligram a day, and uh, that'll add to the fat burning effect. Even though I'm not taking that much at all, I said I might as well utilize the supplements that are gonna burn out your conditioning more while already being conditioned. So the effects of those are gonna be that much more prevalent when you're in shape and using less amount of anabolics. Anyway guys, make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel right now. You know I'm gonna come with a tell like is vulnerable transparent truth guys. For coachingjohnashieve.com. Right now guys, we're back to the phone consults. So, if you wanna know what coaching is all about, book a phone consult, 15 to 30 minutes. At the end of the consult, if you wanna get coaching, whether it's a one-time plan or an ongoing plan or a hardcore training plan, take off a deduct, the phone call, so any package you pick. And guys, use my code Johnny15 for 15% off the Power 13 cookbook. I'm using those recipes in my prep as we speak. And use my code again, Johnny, for 15% off Fit Army. Awesome stuff, guys. I'm gonna give you guys a nice little product review on everything I just got. The other day, I got a box full of good stuff. Tank tops, taper pants, t-shirts, oversized tees. There's some really dope stuff for the women out there too, and the circles. Anyway guys, make sure you guys add me on Instagram at underscore John, if you underscore, send me your foodie pics. Send me your foodie pics, it's fine. It's fine, it's like food poor. Send me your foodie pics, send me your training clips, send me your progress pics, guys. I'll repost it for you guys, because you know it is Iron Sharpens Iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace. He caught that on camera. Oh, that fucking hurt. Oh, ah, he caught that on camera.